For decades, Lincoln Center has been home to the arts in America. Its buildings include the Metropolitan Opera House, Avery Fisher Hall, and the New York State Theater. It has attracted artists from around the world and launched countless careers. This summer marks the 30, 31st season of its annual mostly Mozart Festival. Joining me now, chairperson of Lincoln Center, one of America's great sopranos, Beverly Sills, and Chinese soprano Yang Wang, who starred in Frederick Mitterrand's film adaptation of Madame Butterfly. She debuts at the festival this summer, and I am pleased to have her here as well. Congratulations. Thank That's you. That's great. Um, Lincoln Center, first, catching up. How do you like running things? Well, um, I know you did it with City Center before you moved <laughs> over, but um, it's uh, it's it's wonderful. I have a, a great president <laughs> and, and Nat Leventhal, yes, you and do. every time I. Uh, leave Martha's Vineyard <laughs> to what? go to New York for the summer festival. Yeah. My husband just says, "Why, Peter? Why are you working so hard? That's right. Why?" Yeah. And then he says, "Goodbye, sweetie," yeah. and nope. that's it. And what do you say? What's your answer in your heart? Uh, well, I'm I'm a workaholic. I'm compulsive. <laughs> I like being with people. I'm yes. reclusive at the same. When I get to Martha's Vineyard, I don't ever want to see anybody. The older you get, the more reclusive you want to be. Yes, absolutely. But there's something about, I've often said, when I put my foot down in New York City, there's an excitement here that doesn't exist any other place in the world. And when I go to Lincoln Center and I look at these stupendous buildings, this, this incredible, largest performing arts center in the world, the most versatile in the world, it can encompass any form of, of the performing arts, any, any aspect of the performing arts we can handle. It takes your breath away. I mean, the fact that the Metropolitan Opera is not in Europe. It's not in the so-called cultural capitals of Europe. No. It's in New York, our city. And you have to admit, if you don't sing in the Met, you ain't hit the big time. But it's as simple as that. Before I have you introduce Yang Wang, tell me what's exciting for you about this summer at Lincoln Center. Walking on the plaza and seeing 10,000 people. They're either dancing in Midsummer Night Swing, waiting to go into Fisher Hall to hear the Philharmonic, waiting to go into the Met to hear the Royal, ba to see the Royal Ballet tonight, the, the Royal Opera is performing uh, Palestrina. It's that kind of excitement, and it's, the lights are on in all the theaters on the plaza. And I, when you, you see the masses of people, and it, it, it takes your breath away, and that's what a real festival is about. Yeah. And for you, what's the joy? For me, I'm just uh, so excited about my New York concert debut in Lincoln Center. Yeah. That's um, the most uh, uh, joyful thing for me right now. I don't know if you had the opportunity to see this young woman's oh, Madame Butterfly. It was, it was ext it's an extraordinary experience. And I'm so happy that you're making your debut with, yeah. with mostly Mozart. I, I just think it, it's, it's a very smart move on your part. And uh, it's a wonderful showcase. I looked at what you were going to see. It's just great. 